What's going on, America? It's your boy, Cavi Kingpin, Just For The Hell Of It Podcast. We are back in the building. Unusual day we usually do it on, but you know what? It's Sunday. We're going to rock out. Let my family talk to y'all. Today, uh, Slumdog, he gonna introduce the topics. It's a, it's a lot on the table, so it, it's yeah, a yeah, lot. It, it, it's a lot on the it's table. It's a lot to cover. It's a lot to cover. Man. So uh, we got the uh, the Louisville shooting with Breonna Taylor with those fucking dumbass cops up there. Uh, we got Jeff Bezos projected to be the first trillionaire in human history, which that's fucking crazy. That nigga's talking it off of this pandemic like it's nothing. Uh, we got the Space Force with Donald Trump and his son calling this uh, this pandemic a hoax created by the Democrats. This nigga said that on national television. All right. What more can you say about that family? Uh, you know, we got the last dance. We're going to touch on that as well with Michael Jordan. 6'9", uh, getting on IG Live, breaking records. Future Hendrix backing him up because there's a whole lot of drama with that shit. I, I, I was surprised. Future Hendrix, man, toxic lord. He got more. <laughs> yeah. And don't forget, don't forget, six nine going after Snoop and calling him a snitch. And I shit. saw that shit. I saw that, bro. Yo, yo, yeah. six, 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 six nine, man. He know how to keep people entertained. I'll give him that. Exactly. Yo, yo, <laughs> they, they fall into that shit. They fall into that shit. Yeah, but Snoop ready for that ass though. He already threatened them already. He they that fuck with somebody else. I'm telling you, man. Oh yeah, that's a real crip right there. Yeah. It's just think about him. He's in protective custody. He's he's a federal agent now, so that's what he's doing. And, and the sad thing, not to get into it, but this is telling you the new generation of hip hop. Back in the day, that young Mexican kid would have probably been found dead, butt naked in a dumpster somewhere. But you know, this is the new yeah, age. He, he wouldn't have made it out, hey, of, out of the it could, house. It could still happen. It could yeah. still happen. I, I mean, but now this is the game. You got the draw uh what is it? The, the uh, bots, the the uh, the fucking uh, what is they called? The people online, they just all that weirdo oh, like shit. The trolls and shit. Yeah, the trolls, all that weirdo shit. You you got the trolls. You, say, you, that's you fine right now. Calling him an OG for doing what he did. Yeah, yeah, I that's, can't believe <laughs> that. He said an OG, and and it's fine. Oh, that's the time we live in. At the end of the day, yo, fake jury. Fake all that, but you could do all that, and that's fine. Or you could have a pile of Just money. Sound like pops and pans. Yeah, <laughs> and you could have a, a, you could have all this money. Just keep flashing, and you rich. So it, that's that's what we live in now. But go ahead. Well, I, I want to start off. Uh, we're gonna get this one with the uh, the Louisville shooting going first because this one is this one's real deep, man. So we have shootings in the country all the time. You know what I mean? It, sadly, you know what happens way more often than it should. And uh, this young lady, Breonna Taylor, lost her life. This was back in March. I believe it was March mm -hmm. when it happened. And they said this news went under the radar because apparently, you know, with all the coronavirus stuff going on, this one was swept under the rug. And those cops oh, were hoping to keep it that way. They were hoping to keep it that way. But the whole situation goes like this. So apparently the police up there in Louisville were uh, looking for a suspected drug dealer. They had already had the guy in custody they were looking for. Yet they still bust into this young lady's apartment. Plain clothes, no body cams conveniently, and uh, they didn't announce who they were. So the boyfriend being a licensed gun owner, because, uh, you know, he has no criminal history, nothing like that. He's thinking somebody's breaking into his house. So obviously, like any sane person, mm -hmm. I'm pulling out the gun and I'm shooting you breaking into my house. Who are you? Right. Um, he shot one shot. They shot eight. Killed his girlfriend. Arrested him for attempted murder on a police officer. Mm. They walked away without even apologizing. You 
Right. Explain to me how that makes sense. America, America with, with three Ks, man. America with three Ks. I don't want to sound black militant and political, but in, 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 you do that in another country, man. That shit ain't going down. That's crazy. You broke in the wrong house, killed an innocent woman, and now you're going to try to do it with attempted murder? Like, does that make sense? Well, you, an EMT, an EMT who was working at two hospitals, and they killed this woman. Mhm. Mm that's sick, bro. That's sick. That's real sick. That's real sick. I, I'm I'm speechless on that because at the end of the day, you came into my residence. Is this is my space, my rights? You broke into my place. I don't give a fuck. Whatever you had wrong, it was wrong. You was wrong. But you know what? I don't think this guy gonna end up going to jail, and they definitely gonna be sued. And I hope she get justice for the police officers who killed her. Please. I really hope so, man. Yeah. I really hope so. Because that, that situation right there, fucking crazy. That's sick, bro. That's sick. Excuse me. That's sick. That's just, come on, man. That's like you. We, that's like breaking into their homes with their family and shooting them. You would fuck around and be oh, lynched. You know what would You'd be lynched. You'd be fucking hung. Crazy. Oh man, there'd be a riot out there. They have a fucking mob, fucking torches, yes, boom, yes, out there, and looking for the troops. Speaking of mobs, you see where in North Carolina is looking for that white girl, and this dude deputized a bunch of armed white guys to go to this black guy's house, think black this black family's house, thinking that the girl was over there because they're looking for somebody else who used to live over there. And they go to the door with AK 47s, they are 15s, and demanding to get into the house. The family got a ring camera on the house, so it's recording everything. And, you know, they find out that the girl ultimately went home, but they wouldn't let them in. They were calling the police and everything to tell what happened. And they just fired the dude, but it's ironic that he didn't, you know, they didn't touch him until the video came out. Where you see all these white dudes, pretty much a mob of white guys trying to get in, trying to get into this house, trying to force their way into this house to um, try to find this girl. And it was bullshit, but it falls under the same thing with all this other shit. It's like, okay, what is it, the 40s all over again? What, everything's back to the way it is? You can just... Get a, a mob of white guys to go string up a nigga? Yo, first of all, bro, once, real talk. If you're not a gun owner, get you a gun. That's one. That's one. Absolutely. That's one. Because with, 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 with Trump in office and all this shit going on, they getting the shit twisted. They getting the shit real twisted. Like, we three-fourths of a man. It's 1864. All this bullshit. You getting it twisted. You come around this way, I'm going to kill you. We'll mm -hmm. deal, we'll deal with all that. Yeah, absolutely. We, we'll deal with all that legal shit later. Yes, we'll deal with the legal shit later, but there's no way in hell you getting. I don't give for white, black. I'm with all that fucking smoke. Matter of fact, it was a situ I had a situation before. Um, I was driving Uber, and uh, I ain't gonna say his name. He, he was a barber. He used to cut my hair. A uh, Muslim cat. And he was gonna, like, I think he buy and sell cars. Like, he'll buy them and fix them up, whatever. And he was going to an apartment complex, which he was entering wrong because, you know, just ring the bell. I told him, like, ring the bell. Instead, he want to follow me behind another uh, resident that lived there. And, you know, those gates that chopped down and all that. So the, it was, yeah. I guess it was a white dude. And he was, you know, he didn't want us to get in, which I understand that part because we're just following behind you. You know, why? how you getting access to here? But the only thing I didn't like is. When we went to where we went, he kind of followed us and hopped out. And um, the guy was like, the guy I was with, like, nah, just chill. I'm like, ain't no just chill. Who the fuck this cracker is? I don't, yo, I'm running up on it, man. I don't give a fuck. You got something, you got to pull it out first. Because as soon as you was going to reach for something, I'm, I'm, I'm cold knocking you out. That's it. Yeah. We're going to have a tussle. Because you're not a cop. You're not, yo, you out of pocket. Call the cops. You feel me? That's all you got to do. And people can't get that through their fucking head. And it was an old like white... It was, 
bro, it was an old white dude. So I'm looking like, yo, you serious? And then I was mad at him for even doing it. They feel like if they own a weapon, automatically makes them gay. They can enforce law. But you know what? They have a weapon. But you know what? I was mad. I was mad at the nigga for even doing that. I'm like, the guy you selling the car to, just call him on the intercom. What the mm-hmm. fuck? So it was right, two right. wrongs in that. It was because I get it. Like if I lived in a complex like that, I would have did the same thing. But I would have been Larry too because the white dude was like, it been a couple break ins over here. It was somewhere like borderline where you know it used to be the hood, and then now they you know genderifying it. Right. Right. So I was, you know, white dude was wrong, but at the same time, nigga with me was like, he was bugging. I'm like, why you ain't just, just unnecessary shit? But go ahead, y'all. Yeah, baby, it causes more of a problem than you actually need. Facts. Yeah. But, yeah, all this is, is like, everything that the civil rights movement went for is getting thrown out the window now. And Trump is like just leading the way, pushing some of these people. Because a lot of these people were doing this. Based off of what he says, I mean, if you go back a few weeks ago when those idiots was in Michigan, Trump was telling everybody, exercise your Second Amendment rights. He was applauding the guys who went to the damn um, governor's, um, the governor's, you know, uh, the city hall, whatever, the state capitol, with the guns. He was applauding them. But, you know, then, but then after that happens, now you got shootings that they tried to bury. You got more police brutality that's going on that they're trying to bury. And, you know, as soon as some shit comes out, it's like, okay, he sit there trying to explain, oh, well, you know, his, his always go to, his go-to is, oh, well, there were, there's, you know, good guys on both sides, you know, everybody wasn't a bad guy, you know, he tries to try and cover it up. And it ain't helping nothing. If anything, he's adding on to it to cause the bullshit. And it's sickening. And ultimately, I mean, like you said, I'm one of those people who feels that if, you know, if you don't have a pistol permit, get one. Even if it's in a state to where, you know, they got some states to where you don't necessarily need one. Like North Carolina is a no is a no pistol required open carry state. Still get one. If they right. if you can get one because the whole thing is if if they see your black ass with a pistol and you know, the first thing they go look at is this nigga got a pistol. It's probably not legal. Probably got bodies on it. You know, he's probably no good. I see it. I'm a shooter. Well, well, in Georgia, <laughs> in Georgia, yeah. you can you, you it's legal to have guns in your home and in your car. Fires now. If you want to carry it on your person, like if you want to walk around with it showing, then I be, I believe that you need a pistol permit. But if it's just in your car or in your house, it's totally legal. If you're not a felon, yeah. if you're not a felon, as long as it's in the car, visible. Yeah, oh, yeah. Up here, as long as you have, you can have a shotgun in your house without a permit. But up here, um, because I, I met the police have stopped me a few times, and I have my, um, I have one of my weapons in the um, um, up next to the emergency brake. But I let the officers know the one day they got there, you know, if it ain't on me, it's gonna be right there, and. The cops said, I let them know all the time, you know, I give them my permit along with my license. They said, well, are you carrying a gun? Is it? Yeah. He said, where's that? I raised my, I keep my hands on the stairwell. It's right here on the, on the side of me. See? He said, oh, no, no, no. You need to put that in the glove compartment or have it on you because it's supposed to be concealed. So up here, you know, it's, you know, we don't, we can't open carry. It's, you know, got to be concealed. But, well, right. No, no, no. <laughs> well, let me, let me run it back. Let me run it back. Hmm? We... Yeah, yeah, it got to be concealed. So basically, we separate the clip from the gun in the car. So the gun, uh, yeah, separate the clip from the gun. So like I, I'll had a clip in the glove department, the gun in the middle console. And no way. Yeah, that's how because. we ride. Well, no, that's when you don't have a, a gun permit. You can ride like that. Right. Yeah. But are you gonna say if somebody come, if somebody come and a clap at you? Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Okay. I gotta get the magazine out the trunk. Oh yeah, no, no. I mean, that's if you, yeah, yeah that's if you don't, you ain't got a carrying permit. But you're right. But that's just the rules and regulate. But down here, they look, for, they looking for drugs, man. They don't fuck about. It. Everybody got guns down here. Everybody. They looking yeah. for drugs. They want to. It's nigga, the south. They I mean, looking for powder. There used to be a law. There used to be a law where you couldn't enter a church in the south unless you had a gun. 
that was like in the 18, late 1800s, you know, that was one of the rules. If you, you go to church, you have your gun with you. I feel, oh, yo, speaking of drugs, shout out to SB Stunts, man, who answered. Yo, he would be in the chat, but he don't answer the phone. He on some real Charlie's Angel shit. Shout out to that nigga, man. <laughs> the nigga be in the chat. I don't know what's going He be in the chat. Like, even uh, the dictator hit me and said he won't be able to make it. But, yo, FB fucking stunts, man. You could text. I could send something in the chat right now. He going to say, yeah, okay, be like the first person. Then when you call him, he'll answer. Shout out to that nigga, man. Yeah. Very odd, man. <laughs> Shout out to Stunts, though, man. Oh, also, too. We miss you on the show, bro. Yo, definitely. Also, too. Shout out to Baby Dow, man. I don't know if, if she on drugs or she lost her mind. She walk right past niggas now. She don't say nothing to niggas. Really? Yeah. Shout out to her, man. Shout out to her, man. I don't know what's going on. How about that? Horrible. That she, look, she, she look a mess. She, she, oh. She look... <laughs> so why sex, man? Yo, she look a mess, man. Shout out to Baby Dow. I'm reposting all the shit we had about her. But go ahead. Speaking of unprotected sex, oh, ain't that a little weird? Like, <laughs> that's a hell of a, way, hell of a segue, but let me ask y'all a question. Y'all go, you know, with, dude, with this pandemic going on, I'm pretty sure y'all been in, you know, grocery store naturally, you know. I'm pretty sure y'all went and done some shopping, right? Yeah. Have y'all noticed? Absolutely. Yeah, have you noticed that, like, during all this time where you couldn't find soap, um, you know, like, disinfected, cleaner, and all that other stuff, you ever noticed that the condoms were never touched? Like, <laughs> yeah, the full display of condoms. And not one person grabs shit off of the condom rack. Because they have, like, it's not, there's no way they're running out anything. There was no bare thing on there, but everything else was taken. So, either ain't nobody getting any, or they just try, you know, because I already know about four or five people who got kids coming in December and January. <laughs> Yo, listen, listen, niggas going raw. Only thing they wearing is masks, bro. They don't wear condoms. They wear masks. They going raw. But the crazy part is, you barely wear that. Hold up, y'all. Go ahead, do your thing. I'll be back. It be some motherfuckers wearing a uh, mask. Fuck it. No condoms. If they got a mask on, they got their face. <laughs> That's shit, man, that's, you know what, man? That's the American public. I, I don't know what else to say about people. Man, but I feel like ignorance is bliss. They got to be happy than a motherfucker because that <laughs> shit is insane, bro. Yeah, but I, I, don't, I don't get it. It seems like this shit, like, it brought out, like, we already knew there was a bunch of dumb motherfuckers in America, you know, around us, not surrounding. But it, this just brought out the complete, like, fuckery and idiocracy they could. Like, I see people, like, the one thing that I know is the hell out of me is, like, up here, we have it to where you got to wear a mask if you walk into a place, you know, that you cannot maintain social distancing, right? Yeah. And I walk in there, uh, yesterday, I went to Walmart. And I walk into Walmart, now you see most of the people with masks on, but then you start seeing them with the mask just covering their mouth, nose exposed. Yeah. <laughs> and then you just see, like... You see a bunch of, and it's us. That's the crazy part. It's black folks. You see these black folks sitting there, they just got the mask off. Oh, yeah. Because it's like, because like, they dare people to say so. It's like, it's a fight. There have been two incidents that involve something happening because of somebody says something about a mask. The first one that happened in Michigan, that was terrible because it's they killed a father of eight, and the only thing he was doing was trying to maintain the rules. Then there's this fight down oh, that at Family Dollar Security Guard. Yeah. 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 And all, all, all the motherfuckers involved is getting, is the, I hope they prosecute to the fullest extent of the fucking law. Because that was just dead wrong what they did. Right. And then you got you got a fight that's going on in a Target. Oh, these shit. motherfuckers fighting in Target because they, they told these two dudes, uh, the security came and told them you got to have a mask on. And they get the swing it. Now, yeah, I saw that video. I saw that yeah. video. My thing is this. Do we want to wear masks? Hell no. But we got to, you kind of have to because this shit ain't no joke. Right. You know, I just found out today that I got a relative who's like self quarantined, a close relative. Who's um, had self quarantined because he was around somebody who um, was in fact infected with the COVID virus. And 
Like I said, this is close relative. I'm 65 years old, you know. So I'm open like hell. It was just, you know, okay, he was in contact. Everything comes clear. And, it's, you know, cool. But you got a lot of people who's looking at this shit and they're thinking that it's a joke. They're thinking it's something made up. And the fact is, these are all, and they want to try to fight to get back into doing whatever their regular stuff is. They call um, fosters. I work in the healthcare field. And I think I speak for mostly everybody in the healthcare field when I say this. You think it's fake? Work one day in any section of the healthcare field. And you'll see how fucking real this is. I mean, from the from the janitors to the people who work in the dietary department, you know, the fucking PCAs and nurses especially. I mean, I, I'm the one who pick up, I gotta go pick up the damn samples of every test that people take. This shit ain't no fucking joke. I, I I don't think it's I don't think it's a joke, bro. I don't think it's fake. I I I believe it's man made. I believe they threw this out here with another uh is a reason. I don't think that was just is a disease that just occurred or happened. I this is a man made American disease, man. It, it probably came from uh you know China, you know, but it's American. It's too much shit to it, and it, it dropped at a certain time. It was just convenient. Diseases Very ain't convenient. Yeah, that, Say it again. Fucking election year. Yeah, disease is not convenient. It, it's just not convenient like that. It just happened. And it's an outbreak. No, they put it but out there it, for it, outbreak. But if we had, I'm still. Hold on, go ahead, go ahead. No, I was gonna say if we had the same crew of people that was working when President Obama was in office. Remember, SARS came over here and Ebola came over here. It was no more than maybe four at the most cases and it was isolated it was taken care of and it was neutralized right. it, was, it never got to this point trump got rid of all those people and he's sitting there acting like okay well this is gonna be this is gonna be my version of osama bin laden getting killed i'm gonna save the american people from this thing and he has been fucking up from day one he's trying to like yeah i see that they passed that uh, three trillion dollar um um, the three trillion dollar um, thing for the pandemic, you know, where they yeah. paying people. Yeah. And oh, yeah, the new the new stimulus package. Yeah. And but, the but they already said Trump already said he ain't gonna sign the shit and do it if it makes it through the Senate. But Trump already, but remember, Trump said that shit for the last one too. Because this new right. one, this, this new one now, it will give every American. It'll start off the same way, twelve hundred, you know, whatever to every American. But if you have kids, each kid is gonna be twelve hundred a piece. Right, not a, not exceeding six grand. But I'm gonna tell you, man, the Republicans don't want that shit. They don't yeah, want that shit to happen. But the Republicans need to realize a lot of their constituents and a lot of people who want to vote for their ass is falling under this bracket. You think about it. If all this shit was just a bunch of Democrats, if all this shit was bunch of, just a bunch of minorities that was being affected by this, they wouldn't give a shit. A lot of the shit that they're complaining about now is shit that's been plaguing minorities forever. But as soon as yeah. it's uh, Caucasian, they just pulled into this, oh, well, you know, we got to look out for these people because they're losing their jobs and it's hard for them to feed their families. Uh, welcome to Chicago. You know, welcome to New York. Welcome to any area where there's a lot of minorities in one place who's not given the same opportunity as their, as their counterparts, who's not given the same benefits as their counterparts. Even with all this shit going on, they're still fucking over minorities with the testing. Mm. But look, so, man, just, I'm going to tell you, Trump's son, Eric Trump, literally went on national television and said that this was a hoax created by the Democrats. And he has people believing him. He oh, has shit. followers believing that the Democrats created this shit around the fucking world. Around the world. This is a worldwide plan. And every other country is in on it. And people believe it. I think the only thing it's going to take for people to stop liking Trump is if one of them catches on fire, like one of his loyal supporters just catches on fire, and Trump <laughs> is right there, and he has to take a big piss. And instead of pissing on him to put the fire out, he goes to a motherfucking porta potty. Jesus, Jesus. And lets that nigga burn. I, Trump, I think, you know, I mean, the crazy part is you got a lot of people who still, even with all this shit, still supporting him. And I don't understand it for the life of me. After, after the whole bleach thing, you think it would have stopped. But then now, he talking, as soon as he starts talking about this, I guarantee you a lot of his supporters are going to see this. Because you think about it, he got supporters in like some of the most backwoods areas, the most black exactly. and white trash. I mean, that nigga would never hang out with them. He, he yeah. went to Mississippi, he West Virginia. 
50 feet of them motherfuckers if he saw them in public. He would yeah. walk the other way. Because I, I had to talk now. This is the one thing that I always sit there. I'd be like, you know, I just want to sit down and talk to one of these people who believe, you know, who's a supporter of her. And I did. Yeah. A, friend of mine, a friend of mine's mother, I love her to death. She's like, you know, she, she utmost respect, you know, and she gives respect back. I sat down and I listened to what she had to say. And by listening to her, I sat there and I asked her one question. I said, where are your sources? Where are you getting your sources for this? And I asked, and she said something. I was like, are you getting everything from right wing reports? Because everything she said was just unbelievable bullshit. And I corrected her every time she said so. And, and it was like, oh. So it's like. They're feeding these people this stuff to give them this illusion. And the bad part is most of the people that are actually falling to this the most is either people who are like middle-aged to senior citizen age or snobby as fucking retarded. That is fucking dumb. Fucking dumb. Right. This is dumb. And it's like, what is it? Go ahead, man. You good? No, no, I mean, I'm just saying, like, for something like that, but no disrespect to her. I'm sure she's great. But that's just laziness, man. Fact check. You need to fact check shit <laughs> nowadays, man. What, we live in a day of social media. Social media is very powerful. Very man. powerful. You could have any motherfucker get on there and be like, yo, so-and-so said this and so-and-so said that. Somebody could get on there and be like, Donald Trump cured cancer with a fake picture and motherfuckers would believe it without fact checking. But you know, know it's, it's shit like that. Well, a lot of the problem with that is also the fact that a lot of these people, a lot of the older folks, are not as tech savvy as, you know, younger people. So if they get one thing, they're not going to sit there and say, oh, well, I need to go check on Google and see if this is real. They're going to say, okay, well, it's right there. It's got to be real because they're old school. They're sitting there like, okay, well, a newspaper, if something's in the newspaper, it was automatically real. So maybe it's the same deal. And I corrected her, and the whole thing was, it was cool after that. I mean... She didn't sit there and dog me or anything. But she said one thing that, you know, what caused me to say something was she said that the disease was created by some of the people. She tried to say Dr. Fawcett was fake. They said they created this and doing all this stuff, but they don't want, but they did it without Donald Trump knowing. They didn't want it. They're keeping it a secret from him. I'm like, well, huh? If they're keeping, exactly. I was like, if they're keeping it a secret from him, then how come we all know this? How come you know this? I said, you honestly think that that fat-headed jackass motherfucker actually is letting things get past him without him knowing? He knows everything that was going on. He knew that this shit was coming here before it came here. I said, so, I said, that right there debunks that theory. Like I said, once I said it to her, and once, you know, she sat there and thought about it. She's like, hmm. And that's all it takes in most cases. But you got a lot of people who... They're going to ride his coattails because pretty much it's in the name of white supremacy. You got people like that who's going to do it. You know, yep. you, got people, you got people who's sitting there who make some money, make a good amount of money, and they'll look at it like, okay, well, yeah, he helped out with, you know, he helped me out with, you know, the tax cut. The tax break. Yeah, I got a little bit more money. I don't agree with his politics, but I was able to make a substantial sum off of it. So you got people who look at it from that aspect. But then, yep. you know, they're not looking at the fact that he's pretty much willing to have American casualties in the name of trying to make sure he is on top. They've been doing and that, though, he's justify. He's already over 90000 now. Yeah, so Just- all these innocent, all this blood on his hands right now. And the other day, he's sitting there claiming victory. They've and been, they've been doing that, bro. Let, they- let, let me, did you see the, the Space Force picture with a nigga copied Star Trek's flag? He copied that emblem and put it on the Space Force flag and was cheesing from ear to ear talking about that new missile that they're developing, calling it, and I quote, the Super Duper Missile. Oh, boy. That's the name of it. The Super Duper Missile. And he was cheesing from ear to ear talking about it. Niggas is sick and he talking about developing a missile? Yeah. Oh, wow. A new missile that's supposed to be 17 times faster than the current fastest missile. But the name of it... It's called the Super Duper Missile, and he also talked about a vaccine being created, supposedly supposed to be done by the end of the year. And he and calls the project 
Operation Warp Speed. Yeah. Yo, what in Kenny Guy and titles having ass nigga? Aiden Foxy said that that was bullshit. There's no way that you could make a vaccine that quick. Like, he has this whole illusion. Every but, logical person should know that. But the whole thing is this. Trump's ass is not going to get reelected. There's no fucking way he's going to get reelected. And as soon as they tell him that he's not reelected, his ass is going to end up doing some jail time. No, nah, he's going to do a tell-all. He's going to do a tell-all book. <laughs> what do you say? Lord Jesus, they showed yeah. they showed more pictures of that. Oh. Man. Hold and on, he was, he was trying. The, to, the, the oh. son-in-law that looks like um, Zuckerberg's evil twin. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> All just going to jail. <laughs> if I ever saw either one of y'all acting like that with y'all daughters, I would beat your ass and then call Hold on, you say, oh, do you saying? Man, shit, ain't no fucking way in hell. Trump, so, look, you I'm said Trump trying to. to Trump, I swear to God. No, bro. Trump trying to fuck his daughter? Yeah. No, shit. You talking about Ivanka? Trying to protect who is, daughter from what, people trying to fuck. That's Ivanka or uh, that's Ivana or Ivanka? I, Ivana, right? Ivanka. Ivanka is his Ivanka, ex-wife. Yeah. What's her name? Ivanka. Ivanka. I, Ivanka. Ivanka was her mo- mother, right? Ivana, yeah. Ivana was her daughter. Yeah. Yo. And on top of that, his wife gonna divorce him. But get you, her, she gonna get her a black man. But you know the sick thing. I oh, I know that's coming. Hold on, the sick thing about it is this man is still president, and meant that he would have smashed his daughter. Like how? Yeah, because you support got, him, man. Hey, you can blame your southern, your southern Baptists, those fucking Bible thumpers. Because if I was Biden, because like I said, it's between Biden and Trump. If I was Biden, as soon as I take office. The first thing I would do is revoke the damn tax-free exemption for the damn church services because if you want to sit there and play politics so hard and do all this stuff to try to use it in your favor of politics, then you could pay taxes like the normal folk. Mm. Oh, he ain't going to do that, though. He ain't going to do that. He catch too much backlash. He ain't going to do that. Yeah, but shit, the whole thing is if he was to try to do it, Eric, all you got to do is just lay out the proof over the last four years, and it will be case closed. He damn sure ain't going to do that. He <laughs> ain't going to do that. Mm-hmm. But shit, that's I, what I, I just can't, can't see it. I know, because that's, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money, and there's a lot that goes into that. I talk about that shit all the time when it comes to the churches, man. We got a church down here, literally right around the corner from my house, where you have to fill out applications to become a member. Oh, shit. <laughs> I swear to God, bro, down there, the application, because they want to know what what you do for a living and how much money you're willing to give to that church. And, and if you don't get their qualifications, they say, hit the bricks, man. There's plenty of other churches around it. Do you remember when that old lady passed away? It was like she was 90-something years old. They wouldn't um, do a funeral at the church because she didn't. She had stopped paying tithes because she was in the bed. Like she was, you know, sick. She was sick. And they thought right. that she wasn't able to pay tithes. So the, guy, the fucking idiot ass fucking pastor, oh, we can't bear, we can't have the eulogizer here because she's behind on paying her tithe. What the fuck kind of shit is that? Bruh. Like, and my thing is this. I'm, I'll tell you, not happy. I was raised Catholic. Um, I'm great. I'm raised Methodist as well because my godmother is Methodist and my family is Catholic. And either church would never do that shit. It's like, you don't, up here, you don't see that shit like that. 
down south, you see, I mean, down south is prevalent down there more because y'all call it the Bible Belt. It's for a reason. It's, right. the, it's fucking amazing that, you know, they're so religified down there to where they use all the shit as far as, you know, what you shouldn't do and all the other stuff. They don't like gays, but their music director is always flaming. <laughs> like, right, right. Every, uh, most of the music directors down there is like the most gayest person. Around, and gay people are the most religious. That's the fucked up thing about it. They want to try to serve God. They want to do all the stuff in churches. But then you get the pastor saying negative things against them and trying to quote the Bible. And that same pastor gets caught in a fucking hotel. He gets fucked up the ass by some gay dude. While Yo, cocaine, he wilding. He's trying to say <laughs> Yeah, Eddie Long. Jesus. You know, <laughs> and then they be like, "That wasn't me that night. That was my demons." <laughs> and, that's, and it's fucked up as hell because the first. I mean, it's always been like that. If it ain't regular religion, uh, regular religious folks in the south, it's the televangelist, you know. But they want to and it's all about money. I mean, in the south, especially this, because I mean, I grew up down south, and y'all down there, and y'all go to one of these churches. How many of the pastors got them a nice car? All of them. Right. So, Crystal Dollar got like, he got the cars, he got the private planes, he got the big ones. Boy, I was like, I might be going to church school. Hey, Louis Farrakhan. Louis Farrakhan is not as flashy as all these other people, and when he talks, his words mean something, you know? Right, right. He's talking to you, and it actually has some, the, the, the words he says has substance. He ain't sitting there yeah. trying to take, to take you to the cleaners and empty your wallet. But oh, no, they just want to empty your wallet and take you to Golden Corral afterwards. <laughs> yeah. Why, why, he, why he dancing on marble floors and shit, right? Right, <laughs> exactly. But shit, I mean, you, but it's just ridiculous. I mean, you mean tell me, and that's the crazy shit I heard, what you just said. It's like, you got to fill out an application like you're getting a job. I couldn't go praise the Lord. To praise This is why I say, look, I don't care what religion you are, Christian, Catholic, Baptist, Muslim, whatever you are, man, listen, you don't have to go to church to worship. You can exactly. worship on your own. You can exactly. worship on your own. But a lot of these churches, man, I'm telling you, they're not looking out for your best interest. They're looking out for your They're looking at that shit like a job. Look, I got to get up in here just this month. What do I got to tell these people to get their money? Well, they're going to get that money. Yeah, which way is up? Which exactly. way is up? The, the, the Richard Pryor playing the uh, pastor in there and fucked all yeah, them bad women. Yeah. Mm. And fucked all them bad women, knocked them all up and everything, and was making all that money at that platinum glove. That was uh, pretty much Richard Pryor was, te- was just telling everybody what everybody already knew. You know, and he, that wasn't the first time. He did another skit on when he had a show, and he was talking about this pastor. He said, well... You know what? We're funding the take all the blacks back to Africa. As soon as he said that, the board lit up. <laughs> I want that white moment. Oh shit! Like, and, and the whole thing is, is funny as hell, but at the same time, it's funny. It's goof in it, and it's crazy how this shit is. No, it it, it, oh, it is. Surprise, oh yeah, let's uh <laughs> before we hit the final. My bad. Before we before we get to the let's let's make sure we still touch on the uh, future Hendrix, man. Let's talk about that too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Last dance, I forget about that. <laughs> oh man, future Hendrix, y'all! I tell you, that is our toxic Lord and Savior right there, man. He was, <laughs> I believe he got his uh, his logic from too short. That's what future got got his logic from. This man literally in Psalm says, "Treat her like garbage. If she ain't worshiping my feet, she ain't shit." He literally says that shit, but still has eight baby mamas. No, no. Can I can I say a quote? He said, "I don't give a damn about a slut. I'm gonna stick my thumb in her butt." Yeah, I mean, he's, bruh, he's been in all of his songs, man. Here's the, how you gonna love a nigga that ain't got love for your mama? That's a legend, man. Bruh, man, <laughs> well, shit. Hey, yeah, hey, 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 Married his wife, married his girl. And no, he's just the same nigga. He's been the same nigga, man. No, I'm just making this. You know, people that, make excuses. That's them <laughs> East. That's them Kirkwood he niggas, man. To the streets. That is one of the most iconic quotes you could ever say. He said that shit about the 
conscious baby mama. Oh, yeah, he said, leave her, he said, let the streets pay the tab. Yo, uh, let the streets pay the tab. She belongs to the streets now. But he said in his song, only time he get on his knees is when he shooting dice. <laughs> Y'all forgot, uh, God bless to the trap niggas. He said, yeah, only time I get on my knees when I'm shooting crap, yeah, niggas. listen to his new album, because the nigga just dropped an album on Friday. The album is actually fire. I thought the album was fire. Toxic is Yo, fire, he's though. off the like, chain, I'm, I'm man. I'm telling you, y'all, look, y'all have children. I'm going to let you know right now. Don't let your daughters hear that shit, man. Don't let them hear it. But listen, Future Hendrix, he got quotables. And don't sleep on Amigos. They got quotables. Uh, Quavo said, uh, serve a fiend, fuck a bitch, then go to sleep. Yo, like, up. these these are icon. Fuck a bitch. He said, you serve a have, fiend, fuck a bitch, and go to sleep. That's the most country-ass first name in the world. He, then he said, he that said, uh. Said, I will cheat on you, and I will never tell you sorry. Whoa. You catch me cheating, I would never tell you sorry. That's the Mike Turner shit right there. He, yo, I he said... You, he said, yo, he lied for his girls, lied to his hoes. Oh, yeah, yeah, I lied. Yeah, 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 he just... <laughs> yo. <laughs> That's the future, dog. No, listen. I'm telling you. Yo, the nigga Quavo said, <laughs> flying in the Lear, Draco came with a mirror. Like, is he, if it ain't about drugs or guns, like, come on, man, or the great and the female... Like this is this is the new wave, but future, they can, he's like the god of that. Like he's he really you know. is, man. It's it's crazy the shit that he gets away with saying. Treat her like garbage. My heart's on my sleeve. Shit. He literally said, "Yo, treat your girl like garbage." You supposed to be the king. Man, and any listen. damn any dumbass fool that believes and listens to this motherfucker will be lonely. Lonely, lonely. <laughs> I'm telling you, you got a bunch of them young savages out there right now that you future. That's their pastor, man. That's yo. their pastor right there. Yo, they don't it, listen to what he got to say. Shit, I, it, hey, that's why I talk to my son. And make sure that he... You got, you got to. Please talk to your kids. He makes All sure the parents out there, please talk to your kids. Because I had to go out to my son yesterday because this motherfucker sitting up there Praising, praising Takashi 6 9 Oh, no. Said, nah, cuz. Boy, no. what the fuck yeah, is wrong I, I, with you? Yeah, yeah I would have had to. Punk, pussy-ass, fucking dance, bitch-ass, rainbow, bright, transvestite-looking motherfucker, <laughs> and you gonna sit there and act like he the shit? That's a, that's a dead man walking. Yeah. That's it. That's I, don't know, I, don't, I don't know what today's time, man. Shit. Said, well, ain't he he like, said, well, what is he talking about? He's Martin Luther King. He was hey, a, he, hey, he was supposed to be in space for 47 years, right? Yeah. He got out with everybody. Years, and he snitched on everybody. And he think he untouchable? Shit. This nigga snitched on Jim Jones and Cardi B and they didn't even know the fuck like that. Shit. I like, think, I I think in shit. jail he got piped. I'm sorry. He got yeah, piped in yeah, jail. Like I said, dead man walking. I think he got piped in prison. It, and then also, man, we got, we got to talk about Jeff Bezos becoming a trillionaire. Oh, That's yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, man. Who, who you talking yeah, about? Uh, shame, I'm going to keep it a buck, man. I got, probably got to slow down. Um, Jeff Bezos, shout out to the new Hitler. That's mm. it. Oh, <laughs> That's the new Hitler, man. Whoa. Shout out to the new Hitler, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Wait, a Wait a minute. That's the new Hitler. New man. Hitler? Yeah. That Trump was new Hitler. No, no. I, I get that to Bezos. Because guess what, the different I, I Trump Trump Hitler was a loud mouth, but Hitler was very ma- manipulative, and that's what my opinion with this guy. I mean, just being his corporation how it was ran, and you know two VP stepped down. Yeah, like just how it's ran because it's it's driven by money, just like Hitler. His whole campaign was driven by pure fucking hate. This shit is driven yeah, by yeah. money. No matter if you're sick, you're tired, we're going to push you. We're going to push you. We're going to push you. While I'm sitting up at the top, I'm getting high. I'm fucking up some underage chick. That's the Basil's way. I, I got to call out. I see it. That's the new Hitler to me. That's because that Hitler, Hitler, Hitler never really did. Hitler work. never put in no work. Hitler didn't put in no work. He just manipulated others too. Mm-hmm. But let me tell you, man, because with Hitler... Hitler was a, a very curious case to me because, uh, you know, he preached about the area where he's and all that shit, all the Jews need to die or whatever. 
that motherfucker was nothing like his alien race that he was preaching about. Never. He is actually the complete opposite of what that is. He's from like Austria. He's exactly too. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know what what kind of Kool Aid he was, you know, giving out to the people because. They were ride or die for him, but I don't know what the fuck he was. Yo, that's why I could... I've always been curious about that, too. Not to compare, not to cut you off, that's why I compare him to Hitler. Because Basil's all that... He didn't start from the fucking bottom like Tyler Perry. He didn't. He was handed 300000 by his stepdad. He already had a good-ass oh, okay. job. I didn't know that. Yes, he already had a good-ass job and everything. He just quit his good job. His stepdad gave him 300000 and he went to the valley during the time when it was pumping, and that happened. So all that, he, he got this thing with... Started out the garage. Yeah, bullshit. started out the bottom. That's a lie. You, 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 it ain't like you lived in that garage. That garage was next door to your house. It was a garage by mm-hmm. your house, man. Your people gave you 300000 Then I heard... No, not even heard. I read he was so critical... When he was first hiring people, he wanted to see their SAT scores. So you had like you hiring thirty year old people talking about what's your SAT scores. So all that that's the same shit. That same level, like basically he 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 set uh criterias. Shit that he don't follow. That's the shit Hitler was doing. Hitler didn't do right. none of that shit. He wasn't that. Talking about blind uh blind hair, blue eye. He wasn't nigga. You you had dark hair with a mustache, dark mustache, and you was like from Austria, some shit like that. You want to appear German, nigga? So, I, shout out to Basil's, man. That's the new Hitler. Damn. Truly, Keep it buck. It's the similarities. And now that nigga wants to take away Hazard and double overtime. Man, oh, that, that shit going on May 30th. May 30th. Back to it, niggas. That's crazy. He, he sent a uh, newsletter. In the newsletter, he said, lights out, niggas. <laughs> Almost laugh. Almost laugh. That's not funny. <laughs> yeah, that's not, that's not funny. Because he's really, you know, that, that shit is fucked up, dog. He made $30 billion yes. in three months. Yes. This motherfucker makes $2,300 a second. Yes. Just let yes. that sink in. We don't even make a second. We don't even make $2,300 a week. <laughs> Some niggas don't make that in a month. Exactly. Exactly. That shit is insane, man. Exactly. You, yo, he didn't shut down. The VP stepped down. He didn't shut down none of his warehouses during this uh, pandemic. Oh, none wow. of them. He said, none yo, of if them. If he died, he died. Exactly. We gotta get this shit rolling. He wanna take but you it. did see. You did see that as soon as they started issuing out those stimulus checks, I was right. They started having them crime days like back to back. Oh, yeah. yeah. We, we doing, doing that. Right listen. Back. Yo, mm-hmm. yo, yo, Slum, we dealing with. Uh, thirty to thirty-four every day, thousand. God damn, dog. They pushing that used it. Used to be like the, the hectic days. They we pushing never really it, Hitler. Like that they, yo, listen. They pushing it. That's the new Hitler, man. He in every household. I'm telling you. He in I'm every. You, bro, this, he's in every household. If if he dies, he dies, man. He's just like my man Dolph Lundgren from Rocky Four. Jesus. If he dies, he dies. Let him die. Oh. The U.S. military says about people. If you join the military, uh, God for my job told me this. He's a custodian up there. He said, when I joined the military, they pulled me in the office and was like, hey, don't mess up that uniform. That shit's worth more than your life. And they were dead serious Damn, when they said dude. that. Because yeah. they got to pay money for the uniform. They ain't got to pay money for you. We can replace you easily. Damn. That's how they view it, man. That's how these corporations view people. They can, we can replace you if you're gone. It don't matter. Tell me, man. This is the life of capitalism at its finest. Man. That's sick. Let's get to the final thoughts. This joint almost like an hour and a half. <laughs> Damn. We still got we still got more to cover. Um, yeah. Uh, let's do the final. Uh, we we definitely. Right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, I'll go first. I'll go first. No, we we uh, de- hold on, hold on. We definitely got to get into the um, um, the documentary, the Last Dance. We 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 probably need like a two part show on that. We really need to dig into that. The psyche of Michael Jordan. Yeah, there's, there's a lot for that. We definitely have to do two parts. Yeah, we have yeah, to. No, no, we 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 got that's to because that that dude is a big part of the culture. So go ahead, Slum. All right, I'm gonna start off by saying I felt like I've been talking a lot because uh, I've been drinking Jack. You know what I'm saying? So I'm a little tipsy. I'm that. 
You know what I'm saying? It's been a long week, man. And uh, I think as, I'm going to sound a little bit crazy saying this. I'm starting to really believe that we live in the Matrix, man. Mm. Because a lot of shit that's happening right now just don't seem, it don't seem real. You know what I mean? Like, it, you got all these shootings happening. You got people just, you know, throwing that shit under the rug. It don't matter. You got motherfucking Trump and his fucking kids talking fucking crazy. Which to me, if you're a logical person, you would realize they spend a bunch of bullshit. But you got those people out there that are like, you know, Trump or die. I, I don't get it. I don't understand, man. It, it, it's times like this. It, you know, Hamilton, Ontario. Listen, man. Damn you right. Gotta, you gotta have home <laughs> one more because uh, you more. I, I can't. I can't stay in this country, dog. I've been working like a goddamn slave for the past two weeks, and I continue to do that because I plan on leaving. I'm not staying in this fucking country. A lot of people always say, if you want to leave the country, just leave. It ain't that fucking easy, man. This country literally is designed to keep you here. You ain't going nowhere. Even when you leave, you still got to pay taxes to this motherfucker. Yeah, I don't even true. live here and I still got to pay taxes? Come on now, man. But, uh, hey, look, hey, fuck R. Kelly, too. I think it was back there. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, let me, let, me well, get the, let me get that, uh, Just, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, good, Yo, good. uh, off the rip, shout out to Future. I think it's just iconic, <laughs> and it's quotables. I think he just need a book full of quotes. Um, I need that. I buy it. Just quotes. That's it. Uh, Hitler, aka Mr. Basil's. Um, I get it. You the new world order, and fuck Trump, and definitely fuck R. Kelly. Go ahead, Just Fuck. Well, the way this week has gone. We've seen videos of stuff that happened months ago, and we just find out the headlines. It's ridiculous. Um, the young man from Brunswick, the young man murdered in Brunswick, Georgia. They released more videos showing that he wasn't the only person who went into that housing structure. You know, and he, all he went there for was to get a drink of water, which the homeowner has been cooperative as hell, trying to make sure that they shed light on what happened and how this dude was trying to be a vigilante. The young lady in Louisville, I hope that they get justice for her because shit, these no-knock warrants, it's, it's always happened to where they end up going to the wrong fucking house. Hell, when I was a kid, it happened on my street. And I remember, you know, that happening. But you got to get this shit right because it's like shooting fish in a barrel now because you got this pandemic going on. People are at home or people try to do the little bit of stuff that we are allowed to do. But they try to take us out of the count. Um, you know, so we got to work on that, get better. Uh, fuck Trump. Fuck his Beavis and Butthead looking ass son. Fuck that <laughs> goddamn daughter that he want to fuck. Fuck uh, Mike Ooh. Pence. You know, fuck um, shit. Who else? But there's more people. Um, his wife? Now, his wife, his wife going to get fucked by a black dude after she divorced his ass. So shit, if she had <laughs> You leave yeah, yeah, yeah. But hey, fuck all, fuck all those house niggas that sit there kissing Trump's ass because he waves some money in front of them. Fuck all them. That's 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 the bitch. Huh? <laughs> fuck the Republicans who don't want to pass this bill even though they hurt, hurt their own people on it just so they could save face to keep their government money that they're getting. And free Bill Cosby. But fuck R. Kelly because shit, dude, you ain't getting out. I'm sorry. This whole... You know, you're afraid, you're afraid of the coronavirus. You better be afraid of that dude who's trying to fuck you to fuck you to bump and grind. <laughs> and then like, no, you ain't getting out. Yo. Hey, fuck R. Kelly. Fuck right. you, nigga. Yo, just for the hell of a podcast. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>